Mm -hmm. um, to be fair, Kansas Nova has been a really, really good place to me personally. Um, I think one of the fondest memories I have is making my test debut there in 2014 against New Zealand. Um, and from that, that game um, straight through to many games I've played at the Oval, um, I've had like pretty, pretty decent memories, man. Um, um, I've also got a double hundred there, I've got a beaver trick there. Um, so a lot of memorable moments for me personally at Kensington Mobile and I think what I love most about the Oval is just obviously that local support. Um, playing in front of a familiar crowd, um, hearing familiar voices, you know, just being in a familiar atmosphere, you know, for me is always a comforting feeling. And yeah, I tend to get the best out of myself in that atmosphere. Well, it stands out for me would have been the 100 I scored against New Zealand in the ODA series. Um, I thought I was special um, after coming in the first two games and then getting a good score. And then coming in and then scoring 100 and the last one in front of my friends and family at home was good. As a player, it has to be my first last debut. Um, it was the first game for Bobby. This is the first time I was representing my country. And fortunately, I was able to get a hat trick on, on first last game. So for me, that was a, that was a big achievement. My first round is a fair Kensington. It was most recently played um, in the Legends Cup, which is a, a practice games in Barbados that's native towards uh, picking Barbados um, for their teams or one day teams and uh, score 100 there. In 1971, I was fortunate enough to see the India with the great Sunil Gavaskar in Barbados. Um, Gavaskar and Saudi side, they batted so well, you know, at 11 years old, to see those greats play was unbelievable. And Gavaskar got 100, unbelievable, you know. So th those are the things that jog your memory and, and make you want to go on to play, to um, be involved in international cricket. Kimar Roach. Um, he went to school me, um, so the Kings master, Mr. Peter Bond, he took us, us boys from the um, school to go and watch Kimar play in his first international game at the Open. Yeah, definitely. I remember uh, the World Cup that played in Caribbean, and I can remember the game perfectly, Australia versus Bangladesh. As a kid, a cricket boy, um, my first experience and all of them going out at halftime and just running on the field, some, playing cricket, catching some balls, or bowling some balls. Uh, during, during the half the stage, so that's my earliest memories of going to Yolo to watch cricket as a kid. I also remember the game where Australia played the West Indies at Yolo, and Sherwin Campbell got in the altercation, I think, with Brendan Julian, where he got knocked down uh, trying to attempt a run, and he was run out. And it didn't go down well with the fans at Kensington, so everybody started to throw bottles onto the field, and the, the great Sir Gary Silvers had to come out on the field and try to calm everybody down. And then they ended up reversing the decision and Sherman was able to continue, continue battling and of course Weston is won the game. <laughs>